All right, we're standing here in one of our hallways, Mark, and we're using the Warehouser Timber Shine LSL. So speak to us about the engineered stud and how that plays a role, especially based on, you know, our experience with some of the lumber that's produced that we get. You know, I don't know what it is about Arizona. Maybe it's a secondary market, but for as much as we build and the lumber quality we get, it just doesn't line up. It doesn't line up. I've yeah. uh, usually bought a couple of studs in a few places and you leave them on the floor <laughs> for about a week and all of a sudden you're like, well, that couldn't go anywhere. And uh, so I think an LSL is, is a pretty remarkable product. You know, when you look at Warehouser's produ production of this product, it allows them to have extraordinarily long runs of this and perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got houses that have 20, 25 foot ceilings or stairwells right. that go way up and to have a beautifully clean stud means you're not shimming it, trying to work it. How am I going to get the drywall to take that curve? We have to have products that are this clean. And the product is so easy to work with, except once you put a nail in it, you're not taking it out. <laughs> um, but the stuff holds up so beautifully. It doesn't swell. And it's probably the right thing to use in some of these houses that are really looking at this incredible straight wall. Um, it makes a big difference. And I think it's the right product to use. I love the way this this product works out on any application it turns out to be the right thing to use it's interesting you bring up a point um a lot of times we're framing maybe a two-story wall a balloon framing right and so you have um small pony walls extension walls um and it becomes really difficult when you're using traditional lumber to do that and make that straight right and so you think about the strength of lsl because if i'm not mistaken you can have wider spans we didn't in this case but you know walk through maybe a traditional you know, 16 inch on center is most common to what LSLs can be. Yeah, there's there are some builders now that are going to 24 inch on center and interior walls. For advanced framing. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. The, the idea there is that all we're holding up is drywall. So if you were able to save 30, 40 studs on a house, there's a place to save a little bit of money. But the idea is that if this stud could go 24 inch on center and hold up beautifully true, that would make a big difference just in terms of the efficiency, all the trades, fewer holes they have to drill through, a lot easier to work with. Um, so if you know where your blocking is, your cabinets are gonna be, you block those out, it can really be a very efficient way. And I think it's a really good use of the material of the timber that we have available to us to make it stronger and straighter. That's a really worthwhile investment at the, for the long run of this building. Well, and as you speak about a building that's gonna be, you're, you're trying to achieve more energy efficiency, right? Um, if it's a tr traditional wood frame as opposed to maybe ICF like this house is, right. that 24 inch on center becomes very valuable, the advanced framing, because it's less thermal breaks, right? That, you know, wood is gonna bring heat from the outside inside. And so the less wood, the less opportunity for that thermal, you know, energy that's gonna be brought in. So, you know, the more insulation you can have essentially to enter. Yeah, it's a great concept. And in actuality, it's about a, a two by six has an R value of about six. Mm -hmm. And the cavity has 22, 23. Right. So imagine if you have, 69 centers, that's about 25% solid framing. If you went to 24 inch on centers with using an LSL, you could get by with about 20% framing instead of 25, even 18% framing. So now I've got more insulation in the wall cavities. That picks me up an inch and a, a one and a half to two full R value by just improving the framing. yet still giving me remarkable strength and durability. So it's a really nice way as we start advancing the thermal performance of walls. The next place uh, that we're seeing things is putting insulation on the outside. So the best thing you can do if you're not exterior insulating insulation. is to do the uh, uh, interior framing. Next step would be exterior insulation. And what's interesting, you brought up, you know, just from the efficiency, the trades that follow, right? Mm -hmm. Not only from mechanical, but finishes. For me as a builder, yes, there's an investment of cost into the LSL, but how many times have I gone in through in the finish stage, walls are not plumb, they're mm -hmm. out of level. Even if we come through and we make sure that they're furred out, we laser them, you know, like you said, wood, it gets manipulated over time. Like it, you know, this is exposed from heat and water and cold through seasons as we're building. And what's tough is when you're coming in and you're installing wood flooring, right? And you can see a tile flooring and you can see those gaps and you have to repair drywall and walls Absolutely. or the trim carpentry. Uh, it saves in the end because we have less repairs when we get into the finishes of the build. And look how hard it is to fur those out. You know, somebody's got to go by, put a level on it, see if it rocks, take a, <laughs> yeah. a, a scraper, you know, they, they, they plane it off, right. somehow try to get it straight, and you're like, stop the madness, you know, let's do a better stud. So we take a cost of trying to power plane or put on the wood, the little paper strips on there. You're like, stop, let's just make them really straight, save that entire labor pool, and, and make a much better product. And I think that's the right way to look at it. Well, thank you, Mark. Pleasure.